Okay, this video here is to explain what these little adapters are. What they are made for is for replacing injectors like old GM injectors or some marine applications that have this style injector which are complete pieces of garbage and you want it to use a newer style injector similar to this here. But the problem that you run into is that these here have a little ridge that goes around them that would hold the injector into the fuel rail like this. So you would have the injector would seat inside the rail and then you would use a retaining clip like this and this is what would hold the injector into the rail. Now when there's pressure behind it, it can't come out. And we're going to use this little piece here to simulate the manifold. So when this is going inside the manifold, it can't get any deeper than a certain point and the O-ring still seals inside of here. But if you were to switch over to this type of injector here and put this in here, this is the correct flow, ohms, everything else, but there's no way, as you can see, to seal the injector to the rail to hold it in there. So these little adapters that we make are made to put over top of the injector here to prevent it from going deeper down into the manifold. So there's two different heights that we sell depending on which application you have, which injector they're going on to. They can even be used on these EV14 injectors. And again, they're just to stop the injector from being falling into the manifold. So you get the same kind of results as using a clip, but because you can't attach that clip onto this type of injector, the injector has the ability under pressure to kind of come further down. And then what that would do in the case of, you know, the injector, the O-ring sealing on here, uh, let me pull this O-ring off of here. Put it onto this injector here. So we're going to... Actually, I'll show you without the... Should have had that ready for you. <laughs> Sorry about that. But, so this, this uh, injector could, in theory, slide up. And now there's no seal. It's lost the seal. The O-ring's going past that because... There's play in the injector up and down here. But when you put that spacer inside of here, it stops it from being able to go fall down deep into the manifold and lose the seal. So these come in two different sizes because depending on your application. So you got 4.2 millimeter. And this is 5.4 millimeter here. So these are the two sizes that we offer. These also could be used on applications where if you were to take like a, uh, an injector and modify it from being the uh, larger 14 millimeter and you milled it down to be able to fit to make it like a, um, an import size injector. And now you've taken away that groove again, just like as if you use a different type of injector that doesn't have the groove built into it. See, a lot of the newer ones do have that same groove, but there are some applications that that don't have that. And it is the right injector. It's just missing that one piece. That's the only thing that's missing. 